Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking out time to check out the video. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are greatly appreciated. Well, let's get into some games. So we're back with Sega Genesis, and I wanted to highlight a game that I technically didn't play when it was released. I played it much later on one of the uh, Sega Genesis, Genesis collections, and that is the one, the only Gunstar Heroes. And if you have not played Gunstar Heroes, you are going to love it. It is a side scrolling shooter. It can be played single player or my favorite. It could be two players. And the game is really cool for a few different reasons. For one, the controls are fantastic. Like you always feel like you can move your character the way you need to, to traverse the land, to dodge attacks, to put yourself in the best position, right? Uh, the other thing is with the guns, there's only technically four types of weapons that you can get. There's the fire gun, there's the machine gun, there is the homing gun, and there's the laser gun. But what Gunstar Heroes does, which I've never seen anybody else do this, and I really wish we get another Gunstar Heroes, is you can actually combine two of the different guns to make a brand new gun. So... As you're going to see, I use the homing a lot just because it, it's homing, right? It, it tracks the enemies and goes straight to them. Uh, but then I like to combine it with other versions, other guns, and you get these different effects. Uh, my favorite being the homing laser because it just sits on top of enemies and just rips them to shreds. Uh, but also, I mean, anything with the homing. And you can also mix the laser with the fire, uh, the machine gun with the with the laser. And, and, you know, or you could just run one weapon by itself if you would like. Uh, but that that freedom of choice was just crazy. And this is on a you know game from 1993. Uh, it was made by Treasure Games. You probably haven't heard too much about them because they kind of just faded into the background. But they uh, they have a masterpiece on their hands. And I don't use that term loosely like it has held up even more so than a lot of other games that I played. Like I said, it, it feels like the one of the best games that you can get on the Genesis. And that's saying a lot because some of the Genesis games are, are legends for, for good reason. The game isn't necessarily too long. It starts off with four different levels that you can pick from, which I thought was really cool. You know, a little Mega Man action where you get to select the stage. And then once you beat the first few stages, uh, the first four stages, then you get into the last little set that you can run through. Um, I just wanted to showcase, you know, some of the gameplay aspects. You got your grunts running around. You got some platforming going on. You know, you got, of course, you got to get on the stage where you're riding some sort of device, whether it's a speeder bike or a hovercraft or all of that. Um, you have a level where it's moving and, you know, it's the game has it tells you the story without actually telling you a lot. Like there's some dialogue in between certain scenes. But most of the story is told to you as you're playing, as you're going through the different levels, you can see the characters interacting. You know, you got your main boss, the main bad guy, but then you got all of his underlings and, you know, their lieutenants and all of those different things. So you're fighting bosses, mid bosses. The bosses have life, like has actual like health counter, which I thought was really cool because especially back then, the only thing you could do to see how low a boss was, was whether they're not, they're blinking, right? If they're blinking, I'm starting to do damage. You know, then they start to blink real fast and it's like, okay, I'm getting close, I'm getting close. Then they started to basically be, you know, highlighted the entire time. It's like, all right, they're a couple of hits away. But this game, you can you can actually see it. You have a, uh, a health counter as well. So you can actually see how much you how much you have, but also how much the uh, the main enemies have. So if you're going against any sort of like mid boss or bosses, then you'll start to see how much health they have. And I thought just those little things are, you know, there are quality of life improvements. They're not required. This game could not have those meters and it will be just as good. But when they add those little little cherries on top, I think it makes games that much better. And this this game is, like I said, it's one of the best. I, I would say easily top five Genesis game, you know, which my, my top five anything changes based on what day of the week it is because I'm so fickle. But Gunstar Heroes is always up there. Um, like I said, I didn't play it originally when it came out. I didn't play it till much later on one of the Genesis collections, but I enjoy it every minute. I've beaten it multiple times, a couple of times by myself, but it's always fun. And that's one of the greatest strengths of this game. It's fun. You don't have to think about it. Press start, get a character, pick a gun, fun. Start to finish. Good time. It can be difficult. You know, it can be tough. 
Um, if you die, you don't actually, you know, you don't have lives. You have to start from that level again. You start from the beginning. But they're very generous with the health power ups, even though I keep missing them in the video. And, you know, there's it's it's not that difficult and it's difficulty setting. So if you're just trying to see how it plays, you want to run through it, you can pop it on easy and, and have yourself a good time. Um, but it's definitely better with the, with a partner. It, it definitely uh, it's maximum fun when you got two people on the screen and y'all just causing havoc together. One person's got one type of weapon. The other person's got another one. And they usually give a bunch of power ups out. So you don't have to worry about if somebody's being greedy and taking all of the stuff, because if they have two guns already and they grab another one, it just rotates one of them out. So you can still pick up something. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to highlight this game because I feel like, you know, it doesn't get as much praise as I think it should. Of course, it probably got a lot of praise when it came out. But again, you know, as we move forward, some of these games start to get kind of lost in the shuffle and lost in time. And I hope that this series can you know, make sure that there's a way to kind of just give give its flowers to these games. And Gunstar Heroes is definitely one on that list. There was an actual sequel for the Game Boy Advance. I didn't play it. Um, I'll probably check it out sometime on my personal time. And who knows if it's if it's anything close to what we got from the original Gunstar Heroes, we might have a video on our hands. Uh, but if you've played Gunstar Heroes, please let me know what your thoughts on it. Did you enjoy it? Did you beat it? Uh, this is definitely if if somebody rented this game back in the day, you were in for a treat. I guarantee it. And um, we'll be back with another video shortly. I appreciate you taking our time to check one, this one out. You know, have fun. Be safe out there. Peace.